not me, Tsunami. Who this? Back with Firewatch. <coughs> Sorry. We. I came back here. Took a book. I think it was this one. Right? The fucking. No. It was no to this one, it was the body one, I'm sorry. Fucking six feet down in there. Okay, so now I know what to do. We gonna go find these teens. Which they're right over there. Again. <laughs> so, okay, no, they're over that way. Okay. <clears throat> Following the smoke plumes. So. There's some badass teenagers, you know. Can I not? I gotta follow it. Um. This way, I think. I can get down. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. So, from what I last recall, there was, um, an issue with some teenagers who, you know, just couldn't fucking, you know, be bothered in listening to me. Specifically when I was warning them that they should stop what they're doing with all this fire and... Stuff like that. <clears throat> She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Oh, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's forty-three. I'm not talking about Jules. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her, you can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. So at least Delilah cares somewhat, and I'm not gonna fall on my fucking ass again. <laughs> not down this shit. I also love. Okay, so I've been on the website for Campo Santo, and I swear to God, I love everything on this site. Okay, so they have, um, I think it's $25. The books that are in, like,. Or I think it's just the covers of them. The books that are in the, uh... That tree, get out of my way. Um... In the tower. And I think the ones that you can also eventually find. Um... They... Like, Cabo Santo sell them on their website for like 25 bucks. They're not the books, but they're like notebooks of them. Which I thought was... Nice. I came back to where they were yesterday thinking that they might not have gone far. That's a good instinct. I take it they're not there. Not currently. I bet they didn't go far. Okay. <laughs> it's this way. Here's the lake. Oh my god. How do I... Oh. I'm here at Jonesy Lake. How fuck I get over there? Since... I can't really... No. 
child? My cat. Um. Because I'm pretty sure it's right here by Five Mile Creek, so I'm trying to fucking figure something out. Because I don't think I can go. <clears throat> I go back this way and not go towards the lake. So I said, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Stop, child. My God. <laughs> She's sitting here messing with the, uh, Fireplace, and she really needs to stop. Come on. <sighs> She's being a bad girl. She most likely will not get treats if she keeps acting this way. Just saying. I'm trying to be the nice mom, <laughs> you know, the nice cat mom, but. Yeah, buttons are definitely being pushed here. This took me a lot longer than it fucking should have. God damn. I think I just anyway, I just thought the notebook thing with the, like the actual like book covers that you can find and put in your tower and stuff. Like they're notebooks. I just thought that was really neat, and there's also a bunch of other stuff like t-shirts and pins, patches, just stuff like that. I just thought it was really cool. Okay. I'm proud of myself, I did it. I didn't think I was going to. I thought I was going to fucking sit there and rustle around, but no. Thank God. Copy that. Uh-oh. Missing person. Mitch Michaels, 31, 6'2", 165 pounds, short brown hair, uh, distinctive facial hair. Uh, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Last in location, Mitch was seen around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd. Uh, his vehicle is a 1972 Ford F-250, blue and white Montana, license 28-07326. We have seen slash contact them. For more information, please contact Shoshone National Forest Dispatch at 307-555-6241.
PTSD. That doesn't sound good. I need all I need to do is really follow the water. Like, I'm pretty sure Delilah cares about Brian more than anybody else. said I found it by this. There we go. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Take a beautiful picture of that waterfall. I playing it. <laughs> so misleading. I know where I go. I'm just fucking around for a second. That's cool. Cause there's kind of follow the water to the waterfall. Eventually take this fork here. I like doing that sometimes. <laughs> Burp. It hurts a little bit. I go. I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is so grossed out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Oh, but it wasn't me. 
And these rocks. Gonna hurry up. Well, yes, I'm fixing my shit. Hey, Henry. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Oh, no. Wait, does he not have his ring on? Sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, a pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. <laughs> tell me. They look tired. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know you hit a. Go. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up. Until the next time. These socks, man. <laughs> 